Yes. Opinion so, poll. Sorry, guys, didn't have opinion poll. What did you guys do? We did it, but uh, we did. I think we even did yeah, better no, than we thought. Because we were able to do it. Yeah. What was it? <laughs> the duo yet again <laughs> strikes every time. <laughs> so we do have um, the question. Mm -hmm. Let's have it displayed and let's see. Uh, opinion poll: Why do boy friendships last longer? Exploring the differences and challenges in girl friendships. So this was the read from this person's post, and it says, "I can assure you guys, without any shadow of doubt." Many men do nothing in their friendship except borrow each other money and share a drink, no emotional support, no accountability, no competitions. So we asked why do boys' friendships endure longer than girls' friendships? So that is the opinion poll. Let me tell you, mm. facts, whatever that person said, facts. all they do is borrow money. I know, but share drinks. And what else did he say? He said no accountability, <laughs> no emotional <laughs> attachment. <laughs> what I gathered I from here is that we have toxic followers, <laughs> but we'll get there. Is that our follower who say that? No. Not that, oh, okay. the comments oh. that I saw. Oh. So I was Peter. like, no. You could That's see the comments nice under that, that post. <laughs> who hurt you? You are definitely no, but a it's woman. True though. She, <laughs> yeah. What she said is literally true because mm. you could literally ask a man, mm. his friend, what's your friend's favorite car? They will tell you. But ask them, what, what, how is your friend doing emotionally? What He's okay. It? I saw him at work yesterday. Like, they. Mm. I don't. Think Let me tell you, I really feel like. <coughs> Sorry, I really feel like it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. Friend, female friendships. Let me start there. Female, <coughs> female friendships to me are a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because you have such a sisterhood when it's good. You have such a sisterhood and you can be able to lean on each other. And then there is such an emotional presence between females that I really love. Like the fact that we can hold hands and hug each other and just be there for each other as sisters and truly appreciate each other's presence and love and be able to just support each other emotionally. Your sisterhood, she can be around you, you can be having a bad day, going through something with either your family, your work, anything, and then just have her around you and you feel like, okay, as long as she's around, she can be able to just emotionally be there for me. Or mm -hmm. I, it's just that there's a lot of greatness in that sisterhood, uh, being able to share our emotions, very conversational, gossip mongers, messy. <laughs> Chit chat. There's a lot that comes with a sisterhood and a friendship between females that is really fun yeah. overall. But then, with all that comes a lot of chaos because mm. when you trust someone so much with a lot of information, that can easily be turned against you, yeah. especially when you're not on good terms. Because let's face it, we're all humans. We all have disagreements between us. We're not perfect. So um, you can be able to hurt your friend willingly or unwillingly, knowingly or unknowingly. And that, at the end of the day, will have um, an effect on that friend. And they'll yeah. feel a certain type of way. And then you remember that you've shared so much with this person. And then, like I said, when we're all humans. We're not perfect. Someone can easily choose to use what information they have about you against you and then there are also good people who choose to keep it yes keep it to yourself let bargains be bargains and then life moves on and that's the thing about females we know so much about each other we have shared so much emotions like uh being there for someone you know how they can easily be vulnerable and whatnot so the fact that you you know how they saying that the the goes but let me translate it in english um when you know too much you'll be asked a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. so the fact that you know, female friendships know a lot about each other, there's a lot more at stake. And that's why there's a lot of cat fights and whatnot. And then the jealousy sometimes that is in between females and the fact that we sometimes not support each other and we feel like there's only room for one person and not the other yeah. is a really big issue. And it's really crazy that that seems to not be the case for men. Mm -hmm. Men are just there, very <laughs> dumb and genuinely happy for each other. Yeah. Like it's very, it's very. I want to say they do it so 
um, I want to say it in a way of, um, they say unknowingly or with, yes, exactly. I, uh, subconsciously they do it like there is no care in the world and it's such a beautiful thing. There is something very genuine about male friendships and the fact that there is truly, they don't even have time to honestly beef. When there is a beef, that's how crazy it is. They literally beef for better. one day, two days, ten minutes. Oh, they choose to, these guys, sometimes they even choose to fight it out. I know. You're good, you're good. The thing is that we hold grudges. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have mutual friends and you're like, that person shouldn't talk to the other. It's just a lot of chaos. Those things don't happen between guys. So I don't know but it's just the nature of men to really just be carefree people living in the world. I'm guessing it's something just of opposites between male and females. But then males really do have a less complicated relationship than females yeah I, and yeah, so, sorry I, there's something that you said uh, before is, i just remembered this song of beyonce mm. called flawless mm. and she said something like uh like uh now they why do we teach girls to aspire to, sorry why do we teach girls to aspire to a marriage we don't teach boys the same we raise girls to see each other as competitors mm -hmm. uh, uh, but not for jobs or accomplishment which i think can be a good thing right. but for attention for men we teach, uh, can, you know, we like say something like that, in, like in terms of like True. what you just said, competitors and yeah. stuff like that. It's just it goes down to how girls are raised, you know. Uh, or they, even you have society in general, yes, society, yes, yeah. society yeah. in general. Like uh, you always have to be the first in front of your girl. This girl, you know, you always, you know the competition between girls and how the society does it. I think uh, that leads yeah. to what you just said. Sorry, toxic. Yeah, no, it's okay. I I also feel like we get attached easily mm. be before yes. knowing someone fully. I don't know if we trust too much. You probably say it as well. And I have seen that when it's a group of people, a group of people in you know, generally, there's girls and there's boys. What they will be talking about is matches, it's like, you know, football, games, whatever. What we, we literally just met, but what we are talking about is, do you have a boyfriend? Did you break Chaos. up? Do you, where do you live? Do you, where, like, deep things. Mm -hmm. You are literally sharing information with the person you don't even know the second name. Mm -hmm. And I think it's crazy because at the end of the day, when I know all that information from you and you know all that information from me, I am compelled to call you my best friend mm -hmm. before even knowing whether we are, you know, like whether we actually have that connection or where, whether we need to have that relationship. Whereas with boys, for them to call each other best friends, it's like, and it's not all of them because we know your gossip too. But we're talking about those who are like that. For them to call each other best friends, they have to go through hard times together and just like be forced to be vulnerable because that doesn't come natural to them. Mm -hmm. Probably with what Christian said, most of them are raised to just ignore their emotions. But I, what do you mean I feel like this? Like if I, if I hate you, I simply won't be talking to you, which I think is different with girls. It's like, I, I, no one can know that I hate her, mm. you know, so, um, yeah. Yeah, my opinion, you just said something and then remember, you know these buses, mm. uh, people that go into that, mm. sometimes you can find two random women. No, no, <laughs> our mama, mama, <laughs> my God. I yeah, want no. those, the people that we're going to grow up to be. <laughs> they scare me. <laughs> like, I random so women. Random. And then, if you have a girl, how you stand? The good thing about those buses is that they will never meet again. again. I know. So imagine if it, it was somebody you're going to meet again and just said all that information at once mm. and then uh, maybe later on as you said and then he used it against you. But for me, I do love, of course, uh, the things of boys of not being emotionally available or not even caring about so much stuff or like surface, let's have a good time, then that will be it. Uh, for me, I think I've grown to have best friends or people who are emotionally mm. available for me in my cousins mm. more than like my like people I, I meet randomly because my cousins are the only people that I know know me like literally no. my issues my you know things that I go through home and mostly that troubles me 
are my cousins. Mm. Those are like, feel like those are the people who, when I seek emotional support, I go to those ones. Yes, friends, you might hint it like I'm, I'm going through something, but there's no match. You don't even but expect. But would you ever, mm. let's say you're going through a hard time, mm. let's say a breakup. Would you call your guy best friend and be like, Shh, it's gonna be bad. Do you know what's friend. going on? It, it, it comes through You're a conversation. You're having a conversation, talking about a game, a kaduhure jot, your kreya match, a team. Then let's say they randomly ask, I say, my team is out. Ah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go to the next one. You're Paul. We're going to go to the next one. We're going to go to the next one. That's literally how Do you know the difference mm. is, if I'm going through a hard time and it's leading to a breakup, mm -hmm. I'm sending Tina screenshots. I'm saying he's acting the like The board of directors are already de I decoding the as text. As we are talking on the phone with the guy, I am texting Yo, Virarati, <laughs> literally in the process. So, I don't know. I, but I also think that even though they don't last longer, per se, because they actually do, but most of the times, because of all the emotional attachments and all the cares, most of them don't. Mm. But I do think that it's a blessing. It's, it's more of a blessing than, mm. you know, a bad thing compared to guys because I would rather have friends be attached to them and learn than have things on a surface level. Yeah. That's where you realize, cool, mm. uh, guys never went to an emotional Test, meaning go about testing and see what they're about, see who they the truly breaks, are in terms of vulnerability. Ugasanga, when you are with him, Biri Kumugora to even communicate to you because he's not em emotionally intelligent. He has never been put in a situation where they communicate their feelings without a care in the world and just like be open to be hurt. So I think it's I it like is a blessing. Yeah. More if than you go it down to like the 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 um, like be emotionally intelligent and stuff like that, going mm. down to the mental health, I feel like that's where it comes where you yeah. see a huge number of suicidal men. Mm -hmm. We yeah, know because men it's like, like what am I going to do yes. with yeah. all yeah. these uh, things that? And we have literally had about the numbers that which say, says it all. Men are the one who lead uh, to uh, being suicidal because of the not able to uh, speak or maybe the community that we live in too. And then the fact for me is I do love the surface, mm. but I also love the emotional the attachment yeah. of, I, we, of course, I don't seek that from a man, mm. uh, but uh, we definitely have girlfriends and whatever that yeah. you sit down and you, you can definitely see when a man is with a girl, mm. whether they're dating or friends, you see how men they talk. talk. Mm. Yeah. You really, you see the, how they open up because it's that time to be like emotionally supported. And then sometimes, uh, and then for those men who have literally uh, arrived to that space of like, I don't, I don't open up to my male friends, but I have a friend who is a girl. Mm. Those who men who still have those issues of like, uh, I can call it toxic masculinity. You can't be a yeah. man and have and a girl be, who is yeah. a friend of like and all just these. Just tell uh, her that you're mm, feeling down. Yes. Day, da, da. Men who have reached that level of emotional intelligence really do seek friendship mm -hmm. from women. But men who are still mm -hmm. uh, uh, below that, that... And we really need to normalize mm -hmm. it because no. you really mm -hmm. spoke about the suicidal rates of men mm -hmm. when it comes to the fact that they felt so alone and they felt like they w didn't feel like they could open up or Some, talk to someone. They don't even realize they have reached yeah. that mm -hmm. level. Exactly, yeah. They're An like, okay, is, what am I... Supposed to do with all these exactly. things that I'm feeling that I that I have been taught that I'm supposed to bottle mm. up and just not say anything mm. like it's crazy. Can but. many of them we know them from celebrities? Mm. An example is Twitch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like we don't know a lot about what he was going through, <clears throat> but most of the things that the wife has continued to speak about is the fact that he was suffering suffering alone mm. and he really suffered with the fact that he always never thought he was good enough. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> and he's such a happy, he was such a happy person. Yeah, the, From the, the outside the you could see he was always bringing joy to people but he felt like it was never enough. Mm. He felt like he could do more. Imagine having that burden on yourself and then she keeps on saying that it's sad and she feels so bad that he felt like he could not share that with her or yeah. anyone. So people really, really struggle alone. 
like when we go back to the question that we asked, I don't think uh, men's for yes it lasts longer, mm-hmm. but if you go down to it's the explanation friendship. of a friend a friendship, yeah, yeah, yeah. it really is not a friendship because yeah. yeah. what it's we surface just, level things. Yeah, it's just it's we are high, we know yeah. each other. You know? I feel like men only have but people they are comfortable. Mm drinking and watching a match with mm. like someone who is one call away yeah. and will be down but to I, I experience really things to by, you by yes <clears throat> but like uh. i think it has changed also like men who are like in groups of like and for example like uh, in the group a certain group of people there's girls involved in that group mm. men in that group do open up because i do remember like Back in the day, uh, when my mom was in university, when she did her second university, they had like these boys that were friends that they were like studying together, and then you could see when they meet, the boys are so open, yeah, they're they shouting talk. because they're they're like, presence of women who mm, open up. Yeah. So like, yes, let's also <laughs> let's also open up. I feel like even when you see in our groups. If there is men and women involved in that group, yeah, there is more. women tend to be messy. Men tend to be messy. They tend to be yeah. gossiping a lot because they have been given that opportunity and you know space for that. Yeah. So I feel like yeah, they don't last longer because it's not even a real relationship to begin yeah. with. Yeah. But those that do have like real friendships last longer as well as girls because mm. let's be honest if uh, we are friends and it just falls out too quickly there was something wrong to begin mm. with so um, yeah i think the real friendships it doesn't matter the gender they mm. do last longer but if we are in that context most of you all don't even have friendships you just have <laughs> Acquaintances. 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 Yes. That's that you're the right comfortable one. with. Yeah. That's the so, right one. So I feel like we have comments. On yeah, we do have comments. And like I said, we do have weird followers. <laughs> let's take a look. Yes. Um, Thea, I think it because girls don't trust each other and girls angry in little things when you're emotionally available you do get angry it's just, yeah. it's just <laughs> it's, it's nature. a fact you jab z weird fact i think that's like because they just hate expression of their emotions they just hang yeah i think this is what we're talking about mm. yeah he is kevin three boys have high ro- Loyalty than girls? No. While girls mostly like chasing boys for fun? No. no. Sir, out of pocket. Seek what have we done to Kevin you? Three? Seek help. <laughs> Safa, our very own Safa. Yes, girl. <laughs> boys aren't as emotional as we are. They don't care and that's what they call moving no, on. Could it Definitely. Mm. You jab Z, uh, say it again, or it's because they just won't go with useless to Useless tantrums, no <laughs> offense to go. It is a thing. Oh, yeah, but you know, you kids know? just throw tantrums when they're hungry or <laughs> tired. They, they, they won't go with useless t- tantrums, no offense to girls, that so makes it last longer. Mm. Offense take a new jobs. <laughs> I just learn seven you, simply put. No. <laughs> girls call out each other's BS, however, the reaction and response determine the loyalty. Yes. I agree. Bank 510, because girls argue on little things than boys do. That's we just true, choose to address each and we, every yes, hurt. Yes, we, 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 we confront That's each other. That's what yeah. being emotionally available yes, is. Yes, emotionally Wouldn't you have it in the middle of yeah, positive, negative But honestly, uh, on, a, on a truthful note, sometimes I envy men because, oh my God, It's emotionally draining yeah, to address that each and everything, but, 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 but it's the good thing of it. Yeah, I feel like you, like I've seen like a girl supporting each mm-hmm. other. You guys, when you're like friends, you come through. It's a blessing. Mm-hmm. It really is a blessing. Through. But I think mm-hmm. with the girls' friendship, because you have so much, we do invest a lot. I think we need to also learn when to walk away mm-hmm. or like learn. To confront each other, you all keep saying we argue on a lot of things, but we actually don't. In fact, we let a lot of things slip because I already. Oh yeah, we do. But uskujirango visa jira hongaho. 
biba byabaye byinshi byinshi where you you can't bottle anything up anymore yeah, if there is yeah. anything girls tolerate each other way way more than of course do. madness i know okay. so i think everybody has they are not so often this as it but <laughs> men chose not as they not said to share the on. madness mm-hmm. yes and not to share the madness yeah. but if we did which is the right thing i feel like in this 2024 we should be open if you can't find that into your now friend definitely I mean, you have a girlfriend who can dump all those stresses to you have yeah. the opportunity you have uh, female friends that mm. you you know you have people who are like close to you that are not the same gender so i feel like we have opportunities days I, i feel like we should uh, really reduce those red and mental issues that men suffer with it's, mm-hmm. it's not a uh, time yeah yeah so i, I feel like that's it, it from the opinion that's poll it. if you guys are joining uh we're going to post these uh comments on yeah. our socials <coughs> and if you can still give us more on your thoughts what do you think and we can even put on this uh topic up to the next day if you really want us this to go on Thank <laughs> you.